What's up everyone, it's EZ. Got a pretty cool video today. Got a few different things I'm going to show you, but it's mainly going to be on the Builder Base. No, no, no. It's all going to be on the Builder Base. Mainly going to be from one of our guys, Lord Liam. He has Max Night Witches. And something that I have, I'm not very familiar with. So I'm going to kind of walk everyone through what he's doing with the Night Witches. Other than just completely obliterating obliterating I don't know if that's a word destroying other than completely destroying that's an easy word destroying every base he comes to and <clears throat> wow was that my voice and I'm gonna show you what happens when easy copies Lord Liam and how well I do I mean I, I do pretty good on the builder base can't break 3,000 to save my life, but do pretty well with it overall. I, I do know I can go to the next Builder Hall level and get the next camp, and then that would get me there right, pretty easily, but I'm trying to do something that I don't see a lot of people doing. I'm trying to max out, and I think that in the future, people are going to regret not maxing out, because that's how we do it in the, in the home village, and it, people that rush through the home village, they end up having to catch up in the, in the ladder town hall level so I'm not going to be the one to do that in the builder base but anyway few few tips for the night witches and I'm sure anyone that uses them knows this already or anyone that's been attacked by them knows this already but you start off deep deep in the corners and that gives the the night witches some time to walk up towards the base and start building up this giant army of bats to go with them then really what you want to do is you want to pick one of the hardest areas to come into the base as far as the walls go and make sure that you're out of range of the multi-mortar because the multi-mortar can really put a hurting on you and if you're at the higher town hall levels builder hall levels watch out for that mega cannon that can that it can tear up all the witches at once if they always happen to line up now remember they're really vulnerable from ground defenses so you you you're really trying to avoid putting the witches in direct path of any ground defenses you want them to approach everything to where the bats make it to the ground defenses first and take out the ground defenses there are a couple of the regular defenses uh, the air defenses that work really well against the bats and that's that fire the fire spitter technical word don't know <laughs> but it does it, not not the firecrackers the firecrackers do okay against the bats but they only take out one at a time the air bombs do okay but they and they can take out a big giant group of bats but they outswarm those both of those but the other I can't think of the name of it now hold on a second here okay the roaster I didn't just have to take a break and look it up either it's not what you think <laughs> so the roaster the roaster spits out a bunch of those little individual little fireballs at it and even though it doesn't damage the, anything else the bigger things that much it really wipes those bats right out so that's another thing that you have to kind of be mindful of and you, you want a giant cluster of bats to hit those roasters at one time and you'll see uh, as far as the rookies go I, you know Liam has maxed out night witches which means that the, the abilities are maxed out for I, I don't not maxed out for the game either now um, if you check out the website, it's www.clashmadeeasy.com. We have a bunch of levels that we don't have in the game yet. So you can see that these, these troops are going to go way up compared to what they are now. But uh, right now, I believe she maxes out at 14. And we're going to find that out for sure in a second. I just don't have it. I don't, I don't have it together yet today at all. But this is what I do. Together or not. So here's my first attempt. Now I'm, I've got the Night Witch to level five, which isn't terrible, I guess. But you can see the cannon cars level twelve, so that's kind of. I've been using the the baby dragons and the cannon cart. If you've seen any of the, the previous videos, I'm calling it the Braggadon attack, just for the brags, the baby dragons and the, the nonons, 
whatever, cannons. So I did the same thing as I watched Liam do. I started off in the corner, and then I'm using uh, the... I have a level 5 hero, which uh, isn't great, but that's what I got. <laughs> and I'm using that level 5 hero and the cannon cars to try to help out with some of these uh, defenses. I don't know if that kind of hurt my overall chances. But it just so happens that all the witches end up running into one uh, one uh, of the mega bombs, so that disabled a bunch of them. And I'm, I'm gonna lose the hero right now. So and you know, it's just none of it just really all worked out at one time for me. And 42%. Nice, really nice. So as soon as that happened. I basically I said the hell with that and I'm gonna go out and attack this stuff the way I know how to do it because that's what I do too I get frustrated I try to do things I get frustrated then I go back to what I know and this seems to be a lot smoother for me and and you know you know everything has a learning curve every new town hall every new builder hall has a learning curve every new troop has a learning curve the troops don't start off superb there's been very few troops that they give us that just are great right out of the gate. I know a lot of people thought the bowlers were pretty good at level 1 in comparison to a lot of troops. I know witches were pretty good at level 1 compared to a lot of troops. Um, that's on the home village, but just like any, just like on home village, I'm thinking that I have level 5 night witches and I'll probably have to get them all the way out to 10 or, or 12 before I can actually use them in 3 star. Even though people are 3 star and at level I think that eight, eight to nines have got three stars on my base and my base is not the easiest to three star it's it's unique it's not the same big square even though those work so well sucky but they do so back to normal which normal being one out of two or sometimes two out of three get three stars and you know I have I have this pattern that I go through where I'll get matched up to really hard bases and I can't 3 star and they can 3 st star me, they're better troops, they have a better base, I don't know why I get the match up. So I get 3 starred and I smashed. Then then I get a match that, I, that I'm that i suited for and I'll, I'll do well and I 3 star it and then they 3 star me right back. So that's one of the reasons why it's kind of hard for me to push ahead past 3000 trophies because I... I'm, I'm not complaining or anything but the, the matchups I get aren't the greatest and I'm thinking it's because I'm maxing out all of my defenses so it's kind of hurting me as far as pushing ahead now now I think in the future once I'm maxed out then I'll be able to move ahead and I'll be able to have a little stability in the next builder hall level uh, instead of getting stuck in the next one having to catch up so here's Liam again now remember he started all the way up in that, that left hand corner and now the witches just pretty much hit the wall and look at the roaster the roaster came in and, and really did a put a hurting on him right away now the witches together too they have the same type of attack as the uh, as a home village witches they have that same um projectile i don't know what it is it's not a fireball but some kind of evil um <laughs> evil spirit that they spit out of their hands <laughs> whatever it is uh it's about the same as the regular witch and it teamed up with several of them together they do a lot of damage with it so that you you can't take out defenses with the witches too but it's the bats that are really clearing all the bases so there's another one from liam uh, he just did, he did a great job with these night witches it's taken me quite some time to get enough attacks in because I just don't catch him every single day that he posts them and I know he posts them I don't get them and I've also had a couple run through the chat that I didn't catch on to but here's my here was my next uh, here's my next attack I use the same army composition because I, I wasn't really I'm not gonna say I was disappointed the way the last one turned out that was my first time ever using them I won't, you know, I, I had, it's not like I tried them uh, when they were level 1 or 2. I know better than to do that. So, um, so I waited and I figured, okay, I'm at level 5 now. I think that's pretty, that, that'll be good enough. It wasn't. Now, this attack I did a lot better in. Um, I felt a lot better. I had a little better tactics. Now I'm going to be, I'm going to put all of the, the witches in over in that corner. Let them build all the way up. I was thinking about putting them in two corners, but then I decided against it. Oh, let the hero die. Let the hero die. So, for the record, if you let the hero die, <laughs> you're going to really uh, put a damper on the overall attacking ability that you have. 
But now, the, the witches haven't hit the walls yet. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six witches out there. They've already, we're already at 40% right away. I mean, 40% and they ha they're just now hitting the walls. They're just about to break through. Now, the bats are having an easy time. Are, are not having an easy time. Every time they come anywhere as close to the base, they get wiped out. And then I walk right into a mega mine. And that's, that's it. That's it. 45%. The first one did a little better. I mean, a little worse. 42%. This was 45%. I don't know, I may have been able to do better than that if I kept the hero alive. Who knows? Yes, I know, it's, it's odd. Um, I'm showing replays that aren't 3 stars. But they're not all 3 stars, so I figured, you know, I'll listen to Nerve and play things that aren't 3 stars too. God, I hate listening to her. Alright, so. <laughs> just like last time. We are going to go back to what I know, and we're going to go back with the, the baby dragons, back with the cannon cart, back with the dragon on attack. Push the hero inside the base. He didn't last too long, but at this point, I've got baby dragons everywhere. And the cannon carts got him pretty deep too. Didn't quite get the town hall, but at this point, I think, look at this, I got two baby dragons left in the bank. They've got two air defenses left, and this is a this is a, a smash job. So, for easy, um, the night witches are still uh, way off in the future. Not going to be anytime soon that I'll be three starring with them. Although you will know as soon as I do, because I will have it all over the channel. I do like I like using them. I like the witches. I like the I like the night witches. I think they're really cool troops. So we're going to see them again in the future. So kind of short video, ten or twelve minutes. Uh, hope you liked it. Leave me some comments if you want to see anything different. Uh, I know that I'm not putting out videos like I used to. I've got a lot of other stuff going on. So, I've got a, I have a big project I'm working on. I had to put it on hold for a minute. I'm getting ready to crank it back up. Go on the website if you want to know what it is. www.clashmadeeasy.com Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody. <laughs>